are companies also welcoming this threshold and they're like, okay, now we also need to increase or what is the mindset do you think of the current companies in Ireland would be? Well, that's a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> companies need a reason to increase the salary. And the questions are coming, is Ireland the safest place or not? Why is the rights? Is this rights against us? If anybody is coming to Ireland thinking about it, it's not safe, yeah. it's not true, yeah. it's good. The only thing is that sensing this, that authorities might be looking at immigrations very carefully now. Mm. Is Ireland a good place for a return of investment? I would say that return of investment is quite good if you get a job. Mm. If you are working uh, in a minimum wage, then it's the worst return of investment I would ever, ever expect. I've seen many people who think that they will become a large or something yeah. of this thing when yeah, they come yeah, to Ireland yeah. and they end up sweeping the airport rules. Whether you're coming for learning, learning or you are coming here for earning. Learning. Yeah. So if you're coming here only for earning, yeah. it will be a bit of a problem because you'll be earning instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the longer term, you'll not be able to do much. Yeah. Don't fall for instant gratifications. Yeah. Focus on your long-term goals and what can take you there. Yeah. The moment they get the stamp for, Dhanda. within four months. And I have this one more ideology that people have right now is like if you get a critical skill, okay, just stick there for two years. Like if it's not even in your field what you actually wanted to do, just stick there for two years. Because once you get stamped for, then like things is like everything is there. Like do this, this, that. But is this ideology correct for those two years if you're not working on the field that you want to do? I would say it's suboptimal, but it works sometimes. Yeah. Okay. The key thing is over there. I've seen a lot many talented people. Yeah. They have not got they have not got the jobs just because of the visa status that nobody was willing to sponsor them. Also. So many many times, and I would say to many people, yeah. okay. Visa is one of such a crucial and important part that, but okay, before we come back, understand one basic concept is first comes sustainability, then comes scalability. If you don't sustain, you can't scale. Mm. And for sustainability, you need a work permit or a visa. Yeah. And then you can scale up. So some people who get their own desired jobs mm. and the work permits, they scale up yeah. in the very first year. Yeah. Some people do certain other jobs. For example, you are a data analyst, yeah. sorry, data scientist, let's say, mm. and you are not doing the data science role. Yeah. You are doing a very basic job, which is a mix of business, yeah. data, mm. and some reporting. Yeah. A mix of something, which anybody can do. Yeah. But you have got a work permit for that. Mm. Okay. In this case, you don't want to leave the job and look forward for a job that you really want to contribute, where you can do the data modeling, where you yeah. can do the predictive analytics, machine learning, and everything. Yeah. But you can't do that job because nobody will offer you the visa. Yeah. In this case, you don't have the option left. Yeah. You'll complete your two years, and then either you are going to have your own startup doing that, Mm. because you can do your own startup yeah. or you can go back and ask the companies to give you a job because now you don't require a visa. Yeah. So for some people, it will be like a remedy for their, all the cues. Mm. So it is a tried and tested concept. You can do that, mm -hmm. but this is not the best choice that people should do. But if you don't have other choice, yeah. if you have just one option, then it's not an option. Definitely. It's a deal that you have to do. It's a deal you need to sign. It's a deal that you need to sign. You're going back. Okay, yeah. now like initially like coming to the end of the podcast, like there are just one, one major question, which I feel like no one is answering. Okay. okay. Everyone is answering why to come to Ireland. Okay. What are the things in Ireland? I want you to think and tell me why not to come to Ireland. Why shouldn't you come to Ireland? So number one thing is that <clears throat> maximum number of people who come to Ireland yeah. or to who to immigrate, yeah. they are not having a very successful career in India. Mm. Okay. If you already have a successful career in India, yeah. if you're already making good money, if you're already happy with the things that is happening in your country. Sorry to interrupt, but what is a good money in India that you shouldn't consider Ireland? Well, I would consider, frankly speaking, I would consider that <coughs> 60,000 euros is a very good amount yeah. that one person, single person or family, yeah. that should come in and if he can live a comfortable life, yeah. 60,000 euros. If you're having an experience that can fetch around 55, 60,000 euros, yeah. okay, then you can come. Yeah. But anything before, yeah. okay, if you think that you can't be making up that much of money, mm -hmm. you can think twice before coming in. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying that a fresher don't get jobs and yeah. some of the freshers may, may find it very depressing and offensive. Yeah. They might be knowing a lot of their friends mm. who have got the jobs in different big four companies, different fan companies or something. Yeah. Freshers do get jobs, yeah. but all freshers don't, don't get, get jobs. jobs. Okay. Yeah. It will be on multiple factors, whether you will be into those freshers who got the jobs yeah. or you will be into those freshers who don't get the jobs. Yeah. But majority of the freshers find it difficult to get the jobs. So yeah. what not to come to Ireland is that if you're making a good amount of money and if you say 60,000 euros, yeah. okay, so it's like one is to three ratio for India. Mm. Okay. So 60,000 euros, suppose you are making somewhere around, I would say, let's compare it with, if you're making somewhere around 20, 25 lakhs in India, yeah. okay, and you are getting 60,000 euros over here, yeah. you can still think of coming over to Ireland. Okay. okay. You can still think of coming over to Ireland because of the long-term prospects as well. Mm. Okay. Because soon you'll become Stanford and then you will not be requiring this and all other things, career progression. And money is not the only criteria for making it. Yeah. There is a lot many things like work-life culture mm. and yeah. uh, the security of the women and there are many other things. But coming back to your question again, what when, not to, when you not to come to yeah. Ireland is that if you're having a successful career, yeah. if you are thinking that this money is well to pay off for a couple of years yeah. and you're happy with the money, yeah. do not take that risk to coming to Ireland. Even if you have five years of experience, yeah. 
you may not be finding a job so easily mm. okay but now suppose you are already struggling in india yeah and you are struggling and you are not getting anything yeah then you can think of them uh, mm-hmm. think for coming because india is a very heavily tech dominated market yeah. even techies don't get the job there yeah mm. if you are a very good techie yeah. then you can have some place over here yeah if you are not into the mainstream job market yeah like if you are in hr you are sales you are into um, you know customer support or yeah. any other thing mm-hmm. i would say do not come to america it will not it's not a good place for you to india yeah. <clears throat> third thing is that if you are if you are if you are if you don't have deep pockets mm. suppose you have taken the loan from a bank yeah. with 13 or 14 14% of interest yeah. rates yeah, yeah. and you are thinking of that you will come here and do a part time mm. and you will pay off that kind of thing yeah and you will do everything then better do not come to ireland mm. you are putting unnecessary pressure on your, yourself yeah. i was um, i was watching a podcast from someone yeah. uh, in india yeah. and he was mentioning the podcast in hindi that pehle main bahut garib tha then i spending my money in uh, indian stock market aur ab main bhikari ban gaya so so that is the same thing <laughs> yeah. that if you are if you are having a decent thing you yeah. spend over money over you come here and you will lose everything mm. so come here if you have if you don't have a deep pockets yeah and you can't sustain yourself in your self sustained basis for 2 years yeah you may we have to think twice and then coming back over here and the last thing yeah do not come here if you think that your friend has got a job and you will also get a job <laughs> your friend has got a job doesn't mean that you will get a job even if your friend is dumb he has got the job yeah. and you are smart you may still not get the job yeah. dumb people get the job first by the way so <laughs> that's the lesson i would say be more dumb about it <laughs> <laughs> not about dumb but <laughs> yeah 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 but i would say that usually people who are not into into very much nerdy kind of thing yeah. they have got a very good network yeah. and that's really key role over here so money is a criteria first yeah. second your uh, career aspirations is a criteria mm-hmm. somebody wants to come in somebody was asking me that i want to study agriculture yeah. and he want to come and spend 20000 euros and studying architect uh, agriculture then he wanted to you know work over here yeah. so i told him that no may not be a market for you but isn't the irish market more about agriculture and dairy farm and everything irish market is more about agriculture and dairy farm yeah okay the migration market uh, is not about that <laughs> that's the different i think people need to understand that's a like very clear instruction that you give like jobs are here the tech dominance and everything is there like agriculture job is not there so yeah so to understand this as an immigrant yeah the macro economics of job is not applicable on you mm. because that macro economics of job market budgets and everything is not applicable on you because you come from a specialized sector yeah of immigration yeah so you can't you can't go back with you can just go back that our job market is growing by this and this rate that means i will have more prospects of getting job no yes. because you are you are coming from different criteria at all mm. so it will be a different thing for sure bro and uh, like on that like maybe like one of the last question i would say like will ireland exhaust in coming years or it has an option to fulfill and push more of well it's my personal opinion that it's a beginning of the end mm. okay we are already feeling exhausted yeah okay and i think so you're saying if all you must be feeling the same thing same. Yeah. that ireland is not america it's not uk mm. uk is i guess 20, 16 or 20 times bigger 16 times yeah, bigger yeah. than irish market mm. irish is so irish is a very small country mm. okay like half of pakistan i guess yeah yeah okay. <laughs> so <laughs> less than that i would say yeah like 50 million is the total population mm. if i understand If you combine Delhi and Mumbai, they will have more. More Delhi population is more than. Even just just what Delhi Delhi's population is more than like. So even Delhi population, population is more than our island. So yeah. the resources, the kind of things that we have, it is already getting exhausted, mm-hmm. and that is the reason. I, I was speaking to someone four or five years ago, yeah. and then and that time I told him, yeah. and I guess so that the guy is also must be listening it over this <laughs> podcast. So I told that guy that. and this and i told him in 20 2019 mm. that this thing is going to happen in a couple of years that yeah. people will start feeling that there have been a lot of immigrations yeah. and uh, they will stop doing it mm. and they will they will go back in the phased manner i would say that yeah. they are trying to ease out not ease out but they are going to try to restrict this make this conditions stricter in a phased manner yeah. going future years i would say that it will happen the same yeah. and there will be one point will be achieved when they will think that they need more immigration then the whole cycle will repeat again mm. we have seen exactly the same cycle in uk okay Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have seen exactly the same yeah. cycle in UK in last ten, twelve years. I'm talking about somewhere between two thousand nine onwards. Yeah. Okay. So same cycle is there. They were then not immigration friendly. Mm. Then they became immigration friendly, and now they are balanced mm. in between. So that whole is thing that I'm expecting. Mm, that's true. We'll have a podcast. I said it will be going on because the conversation is going on. But like, let's sum up the podcast there. And like one last question, like just a random question just came into my hand. Like, if not Ireland, if someone is coming from India, if not Ireland, then where? i would say that every it's very it's a very difficult answer to do yeah okay because every other every other field is different like field you know is different yeah. and uh, every other i would say every other market is quite different if you yeah. go back to germany yeah okay germany has a language problem mm. okay if you go back to uk yeah 
UK is already exhausted. Mm. Canada does not have jobs. Everybody oh, knows. Sure. Okay. Australia, you have the you know hate speeches and uh, anti-immigrant friendly everything. natures and everything. Mm. New Zealand is a good country to go for, yeah. but New, New Zealand is just like half of Ireland. Mm. I would say exactly. don't have jobs, don't yeah. have these things, but good people like Irish yeah. people. So I would say that not very other options. People would have to see that. For example, if they want to go into finance, yeah. then UK is the best thing to go forward. Mm. If they want to go forward into technology, yeah. then US is the best. Yeah. If they have, if they want to go back into a country where they want a quick immigration, yeah. okay, then they can go back to Canada. Mm. Ireland was a balance of everything. Yeah. But the problem with Ireland is a very small country. Mm. It cannot take more people. Okay, so I would say different countries. Scandinavian countries could also be a good option now, mm. because now I'm seeing that when every when Ireland operate, uh, if you should remember that from when the immigration in Ireland started, yeah. when the immigration from Ireland, Canada, UK, they, when when they stopped that immigration, yeah, yeah. then Ireland then immigration Ireland. gets started. Yeah. Now Ireland immigration is getting stopped. Mm. People will go back to Scandinavian countries. They mm. will start going back to Denmark, yeah. Sweden, and other countries as well. Mm. Germany is my one of my favorite markets, but yeah. the problem with Germany is that German language. Yeah. So if you are not Having a good command on German language, yeah, it's tough. It's very difficult, not tough, Absolutely. very tough, very tough to go over there. Yeah. Mm, other countries, if we go back in Europe, in Portugal, and not, I don't see it. Mm. That would that would be much things over there. Yeah. So I would say that avoid those markets. Yeah. Italy, I would say that not having jobs mm. unless and until you are going back for certain certain specialized courses. Yeah, I don't see it. I would again say that. Take the specialized role when specialized countries. Yeah. U uh, UK for finance. Mm. You go back USA for oh, technology, tech. mm. and uh, you come back for uh, any kind of humanities if you want to come back. Then Scandinavian countries could be good. Be good. And Ireland is a balanced approach. I would say that Ireland is a very cost-effective market. Mm. If you compare the cost of studies in Ireland yeah. versus all other countries, yeah. except for German, oh. Germany and Scandinavian countries, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Irish universities pay you know charge very less. So and just last question to summarize. Sorry, definitely last question. Like we have seen over the years, that Indian economy. is also booming they are also going up and up and up okay if a person let's say who is living abroad anywhere in the world let's say for 5 years he has sufficient and everything but now wants to return back to india let's say because indian culture indian emotion and everything that booms in every student or person living mm -hmm. abroad mm -hmm. which market do you think at currently in india if a person abroad staying let's say in data science or anything like that would should consider to moving back to india and they would definitely get something or the other better in india this is, has happened very often now yeah. a lot of a lot of people from ireland they are going back going, to india that's true because salaries in india especially yeah. especially for experienced people are massive yeah i have a lot of my customers you know who have worked with me mm. in career ireland they have got the jobs over here they worked here for 3 4 years and after that after that once they just told me that hi rock of this is my last goodbye to you in ireland oh. said what happened cuz i'm going back to india for good yes yeah. i've got a job of 80 80 80 lakh rupees in bangalore and wow. these things and it is good for me because yeah. of he was also making good money over here yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, but but sometimes you know and this is not one off case yeah. a lot many people are getting good jobs in mm. uh, and this 80k 80 lakhs was lakhs. the lowest amount that i've heard okay like that's the lowest well that's the maximum i've heard <laughs> so people are people are getting more especially with yeah. people with 7 8 plus years of experience mm. okay all the people that i'm seeing that they are returning to india yeah. they had 7 plus years of experience yeah. and they are so they are so what i'm seeing is that if you are applying for indian company and you show that you have a good foreign experience yeah. european markets there are a lot many indian companies who would pay you additional salaries mm. just to get the knowledge about the european market because they say, they consider that you will be selling or you will be incorporating that products into european markets as well mm. and that's why they will pay you very high and a lot of indians have got those jobs and they have returned mm. to the country as as well yeah like i have also heard about a lot of people moving back and getting into that perfect i think we have summarized a lot of questions here <laughs> it was a good <laughs> session like definitely i think before the session the record button even started we eventually had more talks before that as well so it was a great uh, talking to you again so thank you so much for today raghav definitely going to come again and we're going to shoot more such podcasts such Absolutely. information and topics for all the audience so if you guys also like this podcast do let us know in the comment section and if there are more uh, topics that you want me and raghav to discuss specifically or a niche market about do let us know in the comment section and share it with your friends who are hoping to come to ireland or leaving india or going anywhere abroad for studies or to the students or the people who are thinking to move back to india as well and those who don't know about raghav raghav is a mentor at career island as well and he mentors people with the career advices back in, here in ireland and also the advisory immigration advisory as well so if you want to get in touch with raghav the link of career island is in description and also raghav's linkedin is in description you can reach out to raghav and have any queries about island about career progression and anything raghav would be there to help you out so till then meet you guys in our next podcast peace out